I'm gonna be basically coming up with an idea for what I'm gonna do as far as mounting a electric brake booster out of a Tesla uh, 3 series. And I'm also gonna be stripping off pretty much everything that's mounted to the cage right now on the inside here, which is all the wiring and stuff. And the reason why I'm gonna be doing that is because I am going to go ahead and paint this because I keep getting surface rust within a matter of days and it's just uh, it's eating me up inside. So we're gonna address that. And uh, yeah, so we're, we'll just get in there and uh, strip off the brake stuff and coil packs, all the rest of that wiring, all the fun stuff. It's my progress so far. I drained the brake fluid reservoirs, stripped the cage of all the wiring, and basically kind of just peeled everything back. I'm not really gonna be painting the floor itself, although I do have to come up with a mounting solution for this booster, which I do believe is gonna mount in the passenger footwell here. It's also gonna be very interesting trying to figure out how to fill it, but I'll definitely figure it out. Um, I think what I'm gonna start working on first is figuring out the placement of this booster so that I'm not in here grinding and welding after I paint the cage. So we'll get started on that first. I was marking up the booster in the uh, passenger footwell there and I really wasn't liking the way it was fitting. I mean, I could have made the uh, linkage work and everything, but trying to get fluid to the fill cap area and also trying to fill it uh, would just be a complete pain in the ass. I know I'd only have to do that like one time, but um, I decided to just kind of move it over closer to the brake pedal setup. And I think it would actually work actually really well in this position here. And uh, I think I may have to tilt it to compensate for this reservoir pointing down, or maybe I can find a better reservoir. I'll have to look online into that. I'm not sure on that, but biggest bummer about doing this is I'm gonna have to find a new place to put my spark plug wires and coil packs but uh, that's really about it honestly it's, it's uh, gonna be a pretty tight fit but I think I can make it work I think this is pretty much about where the uh, booster here is gonna sit maybe it, minor differences but for the most part that's gonna be it and what I'm thinking I'm gonna do here is run a plate from the steering column mount down to the um, transmission tunnel here and it'll probably be like eighth inch or something like that just uh, cut out the mounting hole for that and probably bend the plate at a pretty good angle and should be good to go we'll see how it turns out decided I'm just gonna use probably some eighth inch thick steel plate. I'm gonna run probably four inch wide strip from the steering column mount down with a slight bend in it to the transmission tunnel here and the reason why it has this bend is because in order for the brake fluid reservoir to sit horizontal at um, 90 degree angle the mounting surface has to be 75 degree angle so with the mounting flange bent in that way i achieve approximately exactly 75 degrees so i'm going to transfer the template there to some metal and get it cut out and get it bent well i accidentally completely skipped making of the bracket it's a pretty simple process though you guys have seen it plenty of times before transferred the paper template to the metal cut it out, bent it, drilled it, and this is the result. The reservoir isn't perfectly level front to back. Well, it would be side to side for the reservoir, but front to back compared to the car, it's tilting forward a little bit. So I think what I'm gonna do is pull the plate back out and drill new mounting holes um, and just kind of make them oval so that I can twist the whole unit uh, side to side and adjust the levelness of the reservoir there but other than that i think we're making pretty damn good progress won't be long before we will have power brakes all right everybody this is it i got plenty of room to remove the cap and fill it from up here and it's perfectly horizontal this way 
perfectly horizontal that way. This is what our mounting bracket system is going to look like. Connects to the fire or the firewall uh, transmission tunnel area here. And then it connects up here to the steering column mount. And the way everything is going to work is I'm going to pull off these two master cylinders here. Connect the push rod through the hole for this master cylinder back to the brake pedal. Push rod will come through and connect to a rocker which will actuate the power brake push rod right here and then we'll have power brakes so i'm gonna go ahead and get this guy welded in and then jump back on it tomorrow because it's dinner time so i'll catch you guys then good night all right everyone well i got the brake uh, booster mount welded in and I know you didn't think I was just going to weld it in as a flat piece of plate, so what I ended up doing um, in this afternoon was I made these two side gussets and uh, drilled some holes in them, kind of made them look cool, you know, so a little stronger now, got a little bit more style to it, and I did go ahead and just finish getting it welded in, that's going to basically be a wrap for tonight.